Hello there. For the past two years, we've had a crazy dream. The dream of creating the world's first free and open source professional synth for the iPad. No ads, no in-app purchases, nothing to buy. This is going to be free for everyone. But building something like this wasn't easy. Over 100 people volunteered their time, including sound designers from the biggest names in music and app developers who have sold hundreds of thousands of apps in the App Store. But why do we need this? There was something I learned that shocked me. There's millions of people in the world with iPads that can't even afford $5 or $10 for a music app. Millions of people receive free iPads from schools and other charity organizations. Many don't even have credit cards, putting even a 99 cent app out of reach. It's a humbling and exciting experience. This has been a labor of love with no financial sponsors. We built this without any Kickstarters or any financial investors. So many people worldwide have donated their time and effort to make this beautiful sounding app. The outpouring of support has been wonderful. We're so grateful. Over 12,000 people have signed the mailing list to get the app when it comes out. That makes this one of the most anticipated iOS music apps of all time. No pressure on us, right? Well, let's back up. How did this all start? Back in 2015, Apple released a new programming language called Swift, and I tried to make a synthesizer with it. Free and open source, it would teach people how to use this new programming language to make their own app. Never mind the fact that I've never actually built a synthesizer before. I mean, how hard could it be? Then the founder of AudioKit, Ari Prohaska, saw my tweets about the project. He said he wanted to be involved and help. I say, let's recode it. And the resulting code could be part of AudioKit. So Ari and I spent two weeks rewriting the synth and I also redesigned it so it looked a little better. The resulting code that you're hearing and seeing is called Analog Synth X. It's a free code example included in AudioKit. It was a very simple synth though, so we decided we are going to make something a little more professional. Can you guess what it was called? <laughs> you're right, Analog Synth X2. Pretty original, huh? We added a touchpad and a simple ARP and sequencer. It was still written in Swift though and was pretty basic. Around this time, a lot of high profile musicians and producers started finding out about AudioKit and asking how they could help with the project. One of those was Chase Dobson. You can find him traveling around the world with artists like M83, Tycho, Rihanna, and more. He creates synth sounds for the biggest touring artists in the world. And we were humbled when he volunteered his time to help make this the best free synthesizer ever. It's always gonna sound like a horror movie when you come out of our house. <laughs> it's pretty much just like the MO at this point. I'm like, how can this sound more like a John Carpenter film? With Chase's help, we completely rewrote the code from scratch. Everything was rewritten in C++. At this point, we had a brand new synth. So we actually released this entire source code the summer of 2016 at the 360 iDev conference in Denver. Ari and I were giving a lecture and everyone who attended got a free copy of this code. We were on a roll. We thought the synth would be released in just a couple of months. And then, nothing. Like any good story, this has a tragic third act. A setback that we'd need to overcome. iOS 11 was released and our code didn't work anymore. But Ari took this as an opportunity for us to rewrite the synth. Start over, once again. Could we? Did we have it in us? I say, let's recode it. People seem to like the new code. I took this opportunity to completely redesign the front end, making it more AUV3 centric. Plus you can stack two views, for when it's connected to a keyboard, you can easily manipulate more sounds. One of the beautiful things about open source is that it attracts a lot of volunteers. For example, the new app really took off when Marcus Hobbs joined the project. Marcus is a champion of artistry and microtonality. He previously worked at Disney and helped create classics like The Lion King. This is a sketch he made illustrating the smart cutoff frequency in the delay. The filter cutoff value in the delay moves with different ranges depending on the value of your main cutoff frequency settings. These little touches may seem trivial, and they take a long time to write, but it's what gives the synth a unique character. 
and provides artistry and makes a tool that makes your music sound better. I actually really appreciate what AudioKit is doing in making this open source. To get this sent to you as soon as possible, we're going to release the standalone version first. Then later on, we'll release the AUV3 version. Here's the amazing news. We're going to release 100% of the source code. You can learn from the code or even contribute your own features to be used in the app. How cool is that? AudioKit Sip 1 is pretty cool, I have to say. But what it could become, it's going to be in the hands of worldwide developers, uh, different kinds of musicians, uh, different tuning systems, different cultures. Everyone will have access to this. 100% of the source code will be online. You can take this code and use it to build your own apps. And the results could be amazing, and I can't wait to see what happens. This is free, and it's open source. Having a great sounding synth to begin with, and the ability to really tinker and make it your own, isn't it cool that you can actually dive into this yourself and make it your own? You know, say you want a second filter. Add a second filter. You know, you may have to sit and test it for a while, tweak it, get it done, but that's kind of part of the fun if you're into development. So, you know, why not? Why not indeed. I'm happy to report that this story has a happy ending. Audio Kit Synth 1 is almost ready for release to the App Store, so stay tuned. This has been Matthew Fetcher. Thanks for watching. AudioKit is a free and open source project. You can learn more at audiokitpro.com.